Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. And we're on page 10. I had to check my page number again. So this is pretty straightforward. We've done this page once before. Um, so we're going to start... Oh, good. I wasn't sure if I had put my tape on it. You're going to need two of these. They are five... Five by six. Five by six. You're going to score a half inch on the five inch side. And we're going to center them on the panel. Um, and these are going to flap up and down. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just finding my center line. There it is. And then we're going to do the same thing for the panel or the uh, flap. One, two, three. Okay. And then I've got these two little lines that just help me line everything up. You know, the other way to do it is to just, you know, decide how far in you need to come from the left to right. I find this to be the easiest, but it really is just a preference. And we're still raining today. So it's kind of fun. I like, I like rainy days because then I don't feel like I have to go out. And it's just snuggly in the house with the heater on. It's kind of nice. We don't get many of them. It's a pretty dry state. Well, at least the southern part of it is. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this sideways. I think I can just see the edges better. So I'm lining these uh, up. Instead of putting a mark on either side, I just line it up with the flap that I've installed first. And the hardest part is keeping my fingers off the tape so that when I go to pull away, I don't re have to reposition everything. <clears throat> there we go. Ta-da! Pretty easy. Page 10. So we're going to um, use two magnets to hold this together, so I might as well put them in now. And then we'll put some decorative paper on. And I've got my A sides, but not my B sides just yet, so we'll take a break and put those in shortly. And I don't know what I did with my 5 8 inch tape, but it's not sitting handy, so I'm just going to put tape on the back side of the magnet. Is always a little tricky to me because normally I would use my hook tool but because it's metal it's magnetic so it, it wants to pull the magnet and the tape at the same time okay there we go nice simple not sticking <laughs> there we go you have to kind of slide it apart I'm gonna go ahead and Place this paper and then I'm going to test the magnet uh, positioning one more time before before I put a mat over it. <clears throat> the other thing I like to do on rainy days is I like to have breakfast for lunch or dinner. So I just had my lunch. And I had breakfast. It was good. I made myself some eggs. That's real comfort food for me. And um, and unfortunately, they were store-bought eggs. My sister has chickens, but she's stingy with her eggs. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's, she's generous, but I haven't seen her for a little while. But um, her eggs are so much better. Oh, my gosh. Fresh eggs. And sourdough toast. Yum, yum. So we're good to go. Isn't this pretty? I'm telling you, I keep saying that on every page, but I really do really like this paper. And I really am happy with the 
um, the box album style that I decided to use for the paper. I think it really um, plays to the paper very well. I had um, a little while ago done something, well, and it was quite a while ago. It was the botanical garden that Graphic had several years back. Made um, a pretty box for my mom, a small one that she keeps on her nightstand. She keeps like her hearing aid batteries in it, whatnot. Anyways, I went to see her this weekend and I saw it there and I was like, oh yeah, boxes are so pretty. <laughs> Anyway, so there we go. So there is our A-sides. Um, I think the magnet's still in the right spot, but I'm going to... Yeah, it is. So I'm ready to do the B-side, so I need to take a break and line up my paper. I've got the paper, but I, I don't have it um, trimmed or inked yet. So I'll be back shortly. This is a very simple but pretty page. I kind of like this size. It goes so quick. This uh, 6 by 8 size goes really quick because you can't do a whole lot um with your flaps otherwise they get to the size where you can't really put a photo on them so it does go kind of fast um and i think it's going to look fine inside the box so okay i'll be back shortly with the b-side okay i've got the b-sides mapped out i'll be right back I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I design in one room and then I actually construct in the ca under the camera in another room. I really need two of everything. <laughs> and I have two of a lot of things, but glue is not one of them. And the ink is not either. So that's why I'm always running back and forth and I apologize. But it is what it is. I do what I can. And hopefully y'all bear with me. Okay. So we're going to do some color blocking on the top and on the bottom. And I'm going to lay the big piece down first. <clears throat> I'm so out of shape. I'm breathing hard from running to <laughs> the dining room. That's terrible, I know. <laughs> Between allergies and just being ridiculously out of shape. <clears throat> there it is. That's my confession. <laughs> Now you know. <laughs> I have zero lung capacity. <clears throat> Which is one of the things that scares me about uh, coronavirus because I really do have zero lung capacity. I have a propensity for anything bad to land in my lungs, so I've had pneumonia a few times. Okay. That's right side up. So now we need to trim this down. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can see this marks in the light. It's very dark in here. Dark's not the right word. It's very difficult to see. Okay. Shoot. Of course. It's always something. I forgot my... Um... Okay. Sorry about that. In addition to forgetting my ink, also my husband called, which would have interrupted the video anyway. I've been trying to split my filming with my phone calls because I have two phones. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. So I apologize for that. But there it is. Okay, now we'll do the top side. This bit I've inked, but I still think I have to trim the other side. We'll see. Oh, I definitely need to trim that. That's too big. Or well, quite a bit, actually. Shoot. 
Sorry about that. Let's do that again. There we go. I had it trimmed out at four and a half and it needs to be four and three eighths. Okay, now the last piece of color blocking. I got sticky fingers <laughs> from glue. It's really hard to see this. There it is. Okay, so I cut out these bits and we're gonna try to figure it out. So the, the other one I put a very small cut, cut apart on, but it was bigger than this. So what I'm thinking of doing is just a little bit of stacking. And this is kind of the direction I was heading. And then also I have this strip and honestly, I don't know what page it came from. It's not a sticker. It came from one of the cut aparts or one of the pages. So here's where I'm headed. So let's go ahead and put a little glue on there. And then what I'm planning on doing is gluing these two corners down so that if we want to, we can still tuck something behind it. down so if we go to tuck something behind these two pieces it doesn't get caught between them okay we're gonna let that dry for a second And then we're gonna set it down at a slight angle, like so. But I am gonna let it dry because I don't want this to glue shut. So let's get that a, a minute. And then we'll just eyeball this for a second. And then the last piece is this beauty is as beauty does. And I want it to go just like so, okay? I think it's dry enough. So I'll re-wet the outside. down like so. I'll just use that to hold it up. It's not going to stay there. And then this is going to go just like so. Okay. So this is a cut apart from the eight by eight. This is right. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's from one of the uh, collection packs. I don't think it's from the cut aparts. Although the color makes me suspicious. I think it might be from the eight by eight cut apart. And I'm just using this to make sure that the glue isn't attaching on um, the other pieces. There we go. And there's our completed page 10.